Hi, and welcome to our kitchen at Govinda Valley. My name's Janavi, and today I'm going to show you how to make tomato chutney. Now, to me, this is just a must have recipe. It's the fun condiment that goes with nearly everything. You can put it on a sandwich or a burger, on the side of any fried or baked savouries, swirled into a soup or dal. It basically makes whatever else is on your plate taste more impressive. And it's fun and quick to make. Now, the recipe I'd like to share with you is the one that started me off making tomato chutney. It comes from this incredible book, The Art of Indian Vegetarian Cooking by Yamuna Devi. And I feel like by sharing this recipe, I'm initiating you into a chutney making heritage. Now, what will make this fun and easy is grouping our ingredients together right at the beginning. Now, I know that our spices are all getting fried together, so we can give them their own dish right away. I've got a teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, or to taste, you can make it fiery hot if you like. I've got a real cinnamon stick here, almost as expensive as gold by weight. And then we've got our tomatoes. I've already roughly chopped those and they go in at the same time as the salt and sugar. I've got a couple of tablespoons of raw sugar. You can use any sweetener really. And a half a teaspoon or to taste of salt. Now, now I've got them together, that gives us a two part recipe that couldn't be simpler. We've heated this pan on a medium high flame and I'm gonna add some cooking oil. I'm using a combination of coconut oil with a little bit of toasted sesame oil just for richness of flavor. That's nice and hot now. I can add my spices and we'll see them start sizzling right away. Now, what we're looking for here is a change in color and fragrance. When you see that the spices are like a shade or two darker and you start to smell that roasted aroma, you're like, mm, something smells good. That's when you know actually that the flavor is coming out of the spices into the oil. And that's gonna flavor our whole dish. And that's when you know we're ready to add the rest of the ingredients. So that's our fresh tomato explosion. And now we just have to wait for them to soften and melt. So that's only gonna take another few minutes. I put the lid on because I like it to retain a juicy quality. And that's just keeping the moisture in there. And now what we see is a transformation. We had one bowl of spices, one bowl of tomatoes, and now look at this. We've got a beautiful, rich tomato chutney. It's really made itself. If you want this to be a more moist sauce, just add some splashes of water while you're cooking. Keep it juicy. And let's try our tomato chutney. I've got some plain fried potato, which is a perfect pairing for a spicy chutney like this. Mm. It's so classic. Fragrant and tangy, it's this tomato chutney at its best. 